my colleague, Wall Street Journal correspondent Evan Gershkovich, has been held in Lefortova prison without a trial for 37 weeks. His detention was today, again, uh, his, his, the extension on his detention was today, again, upheld. Uh, Paul Whelan, another U.S. citizen, has been in prison for nearly five years. A spokesman for the U.S. State Department, which considers both men wrongfully detained, recently said that Moscow had rejected what it called a substantial offer to return both of them to the United States. Is that true? Uh, what will it take to bring them home? And do you think that <clears throat> finding an agreement with the United States to bring them home to their families can be a way to improve the severely strained relations between the United States and the Russian Federation? Thank you. <clears throat> Well, you have mentioned that your uh, colleague from an Austrian agency, and, and, and uh, Austrian was an Austrian, or Austrian journal, journal. Well, he is detained without trial. He has been in detention without trial, and you said that his. Uh, Detention was extended. That was done upon the or upon a ruling by the court. So it would be inappropriate to say that it was done without any trial or court intervention. So there is some court ruling behind that with respect to uh, possible returning home or extra extradition of these two men back home. Why not bring them back home? Why should why have they committed offences on Russian soil? They ought not to have done that. Well, it's not that we decline to send them home. No, we want to come to terms, and these agreements must be mutually acceptable and should be okay for both of the parties. And uh, we have contacts with our American partners on that. We are in touch with them, and uh, we pursue dialogue. It is not at all easy. I will not delve into detail, but I think that we speak the language that both sides understand, mutually understandable language. I hope we'll find a mutually acceptable solution, but the American side should also listen to us and, and uh, make a decision that would be satisfactory for the Russian side also. Well, well uh, humanitarian grounds must underline, underpin these, uh, these, these agreements and decisions, definitely.